Well, here's another interesting set. This is another brand new radio. This is the Denita 2000 Multi. It's a brand new radio. This has come in because the customer wants the performance optimizing. One of the things we always do on brand new radios is we make sure that they actually work before I start taking screws out of the case and invalidating our customer's warranty. And that we've done. So yes, it works. Quite a surprise when I came to open it up. There aren't any adjustments on the coils anyway. Now where you'd expect the transmitter line up, In a conventional radio, you'd have four or five adjustable coils, but that's not so on this radio. Now we've seen this on PMR sets even up to 10 years ago. And on the PMR radios, what they were doing at the factory is components were selected upon test. So as a circuit went into the as a component was fitted in the radio, it was tested, and the next component was evaluated from their test results. I'm not. I'm sure CBs don't need to be that precision, but all this is pre-optimized, and that's good because there's nothing to go out of adjustment. So there's no faffing about there. It's on a fiberglass board. It's um, nicely looks nicely made. It's a bit annoying that the loudspeaker doesn't disconnect there. So it's dragging that around. It's one of two presets which we'll go through. Audio I say, you see. Output transistor, driver. I presume that's the air modulation transformer. Power choke. Synthesizer VCO. We don't have any details. I've made up a list there of things to do. My circuit, it, we managed to get a circuit diagram off the net. The trouble with that is that what I can see to be the VCO adjustments, which are here and here, and are wax um, sealed. There's a test point down there, and I presume that's the VCO test point. If I tell you what, we'll put the meter on it and just see what we get. But I'm not going to adjust it because it's a new set and it works. This isn't in the manual, it's all estimated, just guesswork. Yeah, meter says that's two and a half volts on receive. Meter says that's three volts on transmit. So that's going to be the VCO test point. Test point. Is it numbered? I'm zooming on it. Just under the shadow of the can there. See that shiny point? That is the test prod point. And whilst we've got the zoomed in that far, that is the FM detector. We'll be coming into that in a moment. It's all surface mount, fiberglass board as I say. Looks nicely made. It's a basic set. And I'm sure it does what it says on the tin and that's what we're just going to find out. So, customer says optimised performance. Well, there's nothing to adjust. So, here we go. I'm going to go into transmit. And the first thing we will do is to make sure the power is 4 watts. 3.8 watts. RV1 is power adjust. And four watts is what it does into our test meter there. Just looking at the power supply, and it's, it's drifted down to 13.6. Just do that test again. Yeah, we're spot on the four watts, that's fine. The next thing we need to be doing is adjusting the FM deviation. Remember, we're in the UK. Um, oh, this is one of these multi sets. I'll show you how that's uh, set up in a moment. We're in the UK, so it's FM only at the moment, and um, the deviation is 401, which is there. So we'll get that trusty oscillator out. Uh, 
that's about 1.5, we want 2.5. Well, it does that easily. Just go for the whistle test. <whistles> Wallow. Let's give it a fraction more on that. There we go. That's fine. That sets up all right. Some of these newer sets limit you in that direction. Now, I'll just go through this initial setup with you. So I've turned the set off. The UK is 7 on this coding. I'll just be careful because I don't want to drag that loudspeaker around with me. So what happens here, it says, to change a country code, press the up knob for 3 seconds. Yeah, right. Up knob for three seconds. Oh, it's it's uh, that's amb ambiguous. I think when you turn it on, you turn the uh, knob while it's flashing. No, perhaps when you turn it on, you hold the up knob. Let's have a look. You do indeed. Yeah, that's how it's done. So you switch your radio on whilst holding the up button, and then we can use the up down. One is 40 AM, 40 FM, two is 36 channel FM and AM, three is 80 channel FM, 12 channels AM, four is 40 channel FM, 12 channel AM, plus three and four special for Germany, five is 40 channel FM, and then AM at 1 watt. 6 is CPT only 40 channel. 8 is Poland 40 channel at five, minus 5 kilohertz. And 7 is 40 channel UK and 40 channel CPT. And of course, that's what we are. So hopefully we turn that off. And turn it back on again. Yeah, and that's, what, that's how it works. So presumably, when we press, because we've got AM and FM on the radio, we've got DX and local, which will be an RF gain, we've got up and down, so I'll just pop back down to uh, channel 20. Yeah, and I presume that if I press the FM button, that'll take us on to CPT channels. Now I'm just going to check that by going into transmit. It does indeed, yes, that's it. Right, we'll go back to there and we'll just check the frequency. And that will then conclude what we can do with the transmitter. Now it should be 27791.25. It's 27791.24. It's CT. Uh, what's the number? CT. It was the only one anyway. CT201. Just have to adjust my little tool here. There we go, that's set it to twenty seven seven nine one two six, which is slightly above. That's it, that concludes the uh, transmit on the Danita 2000 Multi. And on the next video we'll do the receive.